Welcome back to Savannah Teki. I'm your host, Rafael Ndwiga. Uh, I've gotten a couple of uh, requests uh, with regards to, um, for some, when they are doing a Git push, they are being requested for their password. Okay? Now, um, being requested for password, it, it means that when you are cloning, when you are cloning the, the repository, Git did not save that, uh, the password basically means the access token that you created. So now, um, there are two ways you can go about it. One is that when it requests you for the password, then you paste in the, uh, you paste in uh, the access token. Now, the other way, to go about it is to go to go to the repository so in this instance this is the repository that we created in the previous uh, tutorial now you will do ls hyphen la okay and when you do that you can see all there you can see that there's a folder called .git so what you do next is you do cd dot git okay cd dot git you go inside do ls and you look for a file by the name config so once you have that particular config once it's that particular uh, config then you can issue the command uh, vi then config so we want to edit this particular config file so i'll hit enter and you can see in my case uh, and then you you scroll down uh, you scroll down so I'll scroll down and look for uh, for this uh, for this section called remote or uh, remote and then full colon origin and then and, and then now once you have that one the next the next uh, uh, the next line you have you have the you have it's beginning with HTTPS and you can see it has my it has my it has my personal access token so in the case whereby uh, like um, in one of the previous videos you are looking whereby you had forgotten what your, what was your personal access token you can come find it on that uh, you can come and find it on on this particular file the config file that is in the dot git uh, the dot git folder on your repository so you can come change this okay you can come change this particular um if at all if at all if at all the your your the, the url uh, is not there because you might find that the url is not there if at all the url is not there then what you need to do is you need to copy and paste the the your that url that you had used that we had given that we that we use for cloning and you're just copying this part okay let me just copy it and put it below in its own line you are just copy copy you just copy this this part starting from https all the way to git and uh you put it you put it in you put it on under this particular section of url that 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 so um yeah so once you do once you do that then you'll be able to you be able now the, the when you're doing the the push or the commits, um, Git won't ask you for a password. So we are said that there are two there are two ways of going about it. Um, we one we one is to is to give the access token as a, as the password. Okay, and then way two is to come to way two is to come to is to come to uh, to dot git folder and then you edit the the config file uh, if you have challenges using vi to edit kindly check one of uh, the videos i've done on how to to use vi it will get you uh, up to speed on how to to add that particular file that's all for now thank you for watching uh, if you have not subscribed if you like the content and you have not subscribed uh, give me support by subscribing 
uh, liking the video and hitting the notification button.